Dietary supplementation with then might protect skin from damage caused by UV rays comparable to exposure to the sun for 1.5 hours. What if I were to tell you that there's a food out there that you can eat that will literally stop you from getting sunburnt from the inside of your body? That's what today's video is about because this is absolutely wild. There's been a scientific breakthrough recently that is absolutely insane and you guys know how much I love sharing this stuff with you. So that's what we're gonna get into today. So first off, if you don't know how damaging the sun can be, not only for aging, wrinkling, looking worse as you get older, looking like you're 50 when you turn 30, but also extremely bad for how your acne reacts in terms of having more redness and erythema on your face. If you don't know all these details, right? I've made videos about this in the past about, you know, sunblock, sun exposure, UV ray exposure, how bad it is. So you can go watch one of those videos. But to make it short, it's extremely bad for you. You should absolutely avoid direct sunlight without sunblock. But a lot of times, people aren't very good at remembering sunblock. So what if there was something we could eat that stopped us from having these negative side effects from UV ray exposure. Well, recently there has been a lot of buzz about something new called astaxanthin. Now, this is an antioxidant that you can find in quite a few different foods, uh, but it's actually made in algae. And so the foods that you would be getting it from are basically getting it because they eat algae. Now, because they found out this was really good for reducing side effects from UV ray exposure, when people are eating foods that are high in astaxanthin, they actually did a test where they had people basically supplement astaxanthin. So they were getting even more of it so they could really pinpoint, is this actually beneficial or is this just BS results from something else, right? So I'm gonna walk you through this study. So this was actually a Japanese study. This is a relatively small study, so we definitely need more studies done, but this was conducted on 23 healthy Japanese participants. They were recruited to a 10-week double-blind placebo-controlled study, which is how they should always do it. So those participants were split in half, half of them assigned to the astaxanthin astaxanthin group and supplemented with a capsule containing four milligrams of astaxanthin and the other half was just a placebo control group basically taking nothing and seeing how it would compare. Now here's how they actually measured the UV exposure side effect improvements. They wrote, to assess the protective role of astaxanthin for UV-induced skin deterioration, we determined the minimal erythema dose and analyzed UV-induced changes of moisture and trans-epidermal water loss at baseline and after nine weeks of supplementation. Okay, so I know I probably just lost a lot of you. What they basically did, what we should really pay attention to, is the minimal erythema dose. Erythema just basically means redness. You definitely experience this, and especially people who have a uh, lighter skin tone, if you have acne and you go into the sun and you basically notice that you have more red. And one of the things that you know that I definitely know too because I had a lot of acne is that one of the most obvious parts of acne is getting really red and having a lot of redness on your face. So you wanna minimize that as much as possible. This could be really interesting for people like us. All right, so they had them supplement with four milligrams of astaxanthin every single day for nine weeks, and then they came back and they did the test. So basically what they did is they exposed their skin to UV rays nine weeks after doing the supplementation, and here's what the results came up with. In the study, they write, however, the astaxanthin group showed a significant increase in minimal erythema dose from baseline compared with the placebo group after supplementation, and they include a really nice image where it makes it very clear. You can see the difference between the supplemented group and the no supplement group. So again, basically what this means is that the group that was supplementing with astaxanthin needed to be exposed to more UV rays for a longer period of time to get the same amount of redness that they got previously without the supplementation. Another great thing is that they observed no side effects in biochemical biology or hematologic tests, so they did not see any side effects in this study. And this is what they write in the study. Thus, dietary supplementation with astaxanthin might protect skin from damage caused by UV rays comparable to exposure to the sun for 1.5 hours in the Japanese summer. Okay, pause, because this is the really important part of the study. This is crazy. This actually shows exactly how much of an improvement they're getting from this. So if you think about putting sunscreen or sunblock on your face, basically what you'll always hear is that you should reapply every three or four hours because at that point, the sunscreen has basically lost its potency and the UV rays are starting to hit your skin again. This supplement, by taking it, eating it constantly, you are getting about an hour and a half of sunblock time 
That is insane, direct sun exposure. So if you were to take this every single day, and even when you're inside, you're getting UV rays through the window. And so we're always told to put sunblock on our faces, no matter what, if you're going out in the sun or if you're just gonna be inside of a building where sun's coming through the window, it'll still age you, it'll still cause redness. If you were taking this, then that will be mitigated just by taking this antioxidant, which also antioxidants are generally really good for your body. Okay, I wanna slow down a little bit. I know I sound very excited. I do wanna say we definitely need a lot more research on this. It's, it's, it's a new topic and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more research because this is getting more buzz as time goes on. So we'll see how further studies go and larger studies which give us more data. But this kind of thing is, is something that I geek out about because this is crazy. It's like a, it's like a hack. It's, it's like an anti-aging pill. You can basically avoid some of those aging effects and some of those redness effects that come from the sun that you're exposed to every day no matter what. So why wouldn't you? It's crazy. Now that being said, am I gonna start supplementing with astaxanthin? It's a maybe. I probably actually will, uh, but it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna you know yap about all the time and people they have to because I'm gonna wait for those further studies uh, but I always try to bring you guys this kind of information as soon as possible just like my previous videos where I talk about the acne vaccine that's being developed which is getting closer and closer every single month so if you haven't seen that video yet you should check it out but I feel like being up to date on this kind of stuff is massively massively important and also just really really interesting so I hope you guys uh, appreciate this kind of stuff because I will keep bringing you this kind of stuff if, if it is interesting to you please let me know in the comments below on another related note, if you don't know, uh, the skincare company that I'm actually with called Banish just released their sunblock. It is by far the best sunscreen in the game. It's 50 SPF, it's all natural ingredients, and the important part for me is it does not leave a white cast on your face. I hate that when your face looks different than the rest of your skin because you put the sunblock on. It's basically like, why would you even wear it at that point? So they did a really good job formulating this, so you literally can't tell that you even have it on your skin. Uh, it's called the Defender it just came out. You can use my link. It's banishbrian.com to get there. You can use my discount code Brian5. We'll get you $5 off of it. Along with that, I also highly encourage you to check out the other products that they have. The starter kit is fantastic. The entire line is designed to help improve skin texture, skin scarring. If you had acne and you have acne scars, if you look at my face, I've had a massive improvement in my acne scars from using them. So check out their whole line. It's all super fire and it's all backed by science. It's all small batch made. It's all vegan, cruelty-free, it's all natural. All right, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It helps get out to way more people. You know, you gotta abuse that algorithm. Give me a comment below for the algorithm, but also to let me know if you think this is interesting or not. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you are part of Team Acne. We'll see you beautiful skin bosses in the very next video. Pew.